Hello everybody, welcome to What's He Doing? What's He Done? I'm Carl. I'm Sean. And this is Match Week 28 and we've got some goals. Sean, are you ready? No. He's never ready. Manchester United versus Everton. Sean, I'm going to go first, as always. Um, this game was dull. dull. Two pens. No goals. No normal goals. No Rashford goals. Well, I mean, Rashford did score. I mean, yeah, pen. That was a crappy pen as well. Blame the keeper, mate. Either way, there's two rules, maybe three rules here at 48 hours. If you give the pen, you are at fault. It's a quick fire. Tarkovsky, two weeks in a row. What are you doing? Come on, you can't do stuff like this. You've just followed Lance, swept through. Done Edison, Sean. That's coming up at the end, because he's at fault as well for that one. Spoiler alert. But he just chops his legs through. Not his legs. Not his legs. Or Gon Nacho, he's only a baby. Godfrey. That's it. Godfrey, yeah, basically doing the same thing. To the same guy. Gon Gon Nacho's gonna feel menace. like huh? Little menace there. <laughs> Just getting his shins kicked in, winning pens. Yeah, he's he's new Grealish. The ne the next one's going to be a really high challenge on him. Yeah, yeah, just at the knee level. The whole gate. Turn him into a raptor legs. <laughs> whole gate on Matoma. Like when someone goes a bit hard on the leg press. <laughs> yeah. Raptor knees. All right, bringing us to Bournemouth Sheffield. As I told you, Manchester United was a quick one. Bournemouth Sheffield now, and uh, first goal, going to Kirkes, dangerously out of position considering he's the left back. Let's Gustavo hammer through. We know he loves a shot. Keeper could do better, could, it does parry it into danger, but you can only do so much when it's getting whammed at you from 12 yards. Yeah. As you probably saw in our Kick X Arena one where Sean was about eight yards away just trying to smash oh, him top in. 35 yards, mate. 35, 35 feet. Easily 35 <laughs> yards. Get the tape measure up. Second one, you know, if, if there's someone else to blame other than the keeper, you don't blame the keeper. Mm. But uh, Solanke blocks Neto's punch, <laughs> but Solanke can't be anywhere else. <laughs> So there is no one else to blame other than the keeper. <laughs> and Neto, you're not very good at protecting the Neto. <laughs> He's got the easiest name to make a pun. What, is, what makes me laugh, right, is that Neto is at full jump, full stretch, and Solanke's just up in the air. And Solanke's head is two feet higher than Neto's fists. Yeah. So it's, he's punched it into his back. Even the commentators were saying, like, well, why are you punching at him? Punch it over him. Go, yeah. go up. Just like, catch it. Here's, he could have caught it. You got two fists to it. You can get two open he got hands. Got anxious, to it. anxious baby. He's fine. And just punched it into the back of his own shoulder. Now what are you doing? What have you done? Bringing Bournemouth to two one. Altara leaves his man. Sean, do you know who it was? No. It's only McAtee. McAtee. He loves this list. He's a centre attacker mid. Is he the fourth or third most from Sheffield United to get on this list? No. 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 Sheffield United have four in the top fifteen. <laughs> Not McAtee. Neither man. No, oh, we'll look to see where they go when you do the updated video. It's stuck in the mud classic, 48 hours, watching the ball, just sat there waiting. Sitem syndrome. Sitem syndrome. Mm-hmm. Got to do better. It's Get on the list. Hmm? Stuck. Stuck in the mud syndrome. In S-I-T-M. Sitem. Sitem. It is Sitem. John's got For some a reason punch I thought of it the tism. Was, some reason I thought it was Tim. Stim. <laughs> Stims are better, like, if it was called stim. That'd be stim cool. is something that autistic people do. Oh, well, I didn't know that. <laughs> I thought stuck in the mud could be stim. Sean's got autism. It's okay. Well, I don't think we can say that. Gets disabled parking. Because I don't actually have, <laughs> I'm not diagnosed. Who's this one for you, Sean? Um, Wizard of Osborne. <laughs> like, it, there was a sense in this game that Bournemouth just wanted it more. Yeah. And the way that Osborne's just hugging onto Unal mm. in like the 94th minute. This goal was pure scrap. Yeah, the way Osborne is just holding on to Unal mm -hmm. as Unal is scoring in the 94th minute yeah. just kind of shows Bournemouth really wanted the point. And yeah. Sheffield United, they're allergic to three points. They are. And they. I think the, the scrappy nature of this goal right in the last was just Sheffield were knackered. Nah, they used to play just, 10 extra minutes at the end. They're just shit. <laughs> I agree. So bringing us to Palace Luton, the first goal here was done for us. Sean, the commentator, basically did our job. Gave us the stat that the Prem won't give. And uh, Doherty, what are you doing? What have you done? Sloppy back pass. Summoning his inner Ake. And uh, delivering a hospital pass, essentially. Keeper didn't come out running on this one. But uh, he, he, he tried to. Do but, uh, it was tapped round and Mateta with a cheeky little Zola. Oik. So as Doty then passes, tries to sort of back pass it to Kaminsky, calls for him. Who intercepts it, Sean? Munoz. He does. And then he manages to get that little cut back to Mateta, who does the Zola, taps it straight in. I would call this more a Wayne Rooney finish. Yeah? 
Because Zola's is a full on, like his whole body in turns. The air as well, yeah. But he just flicks it with the back of his foot. Little cheeky dink. Rooney used to love these. Little cheeky one. Luton robbed the points back though, didn't they, Sean? Yeah, the, the YouTube title was The Eagles Are Silenced. Mm -hmm. and, I mean, they're not that loud. Oh, they weren't silenced. They were enraged. They were screaming all over the place. I mean, <laughs> this one's harsh to give to anyone. Yeah. Because if you're going up against Corley Woodrow, you're not going to mark him. Because mm. he's just, he might as well not be there. Who have you given this to? Richards. That's Chris Richards, the American. Why is that? Well, I feel like he's the only one not marking someone and Woodrow sort of sneaks behind him. Yeah. And maybe if Richards just jumped, he might be able to get to it. Mm. But the angle for the highlights was about 300 miles away. <laughs> so I can't really tell. Yeah, it was, it's a tough one to see. Um, you'll, you can see for yourselves. But it, it does dink off of the top of Woodrow's head and then it doesn't actually get round... The keeper should do a lot better here because it looks like it just almost goes all the way through. Post and in, very difficult to say, very difficult to see and uh, hard to defend. Mega swaz on a header. So I think this is harsh of you to give to Richards. Oh, uh, well. I'd have been giving this to the keeper. Nah. Richards, on the list, mate. All right, and Walls Fulham and easy one. Bassi, once again, that is not a clearance. Passed it straight to Tossi. Cross comes in, tries to dink his head over it. It Bailey basically just scrapes his head. Totty's got it, passes it straight back in, keeper no chance. Totty, the centre back, playing right wing, mm -hmm. by the way. Yep. Just out of nowhere. Just up there. I love a number 24 getting involved. He's trying to get promotion. <laughs> What's got promotion the field? Still what? Scoring. Right wing, apparently. Nah. Go on then, Sean. I know you've been looking forward to this goal. Hit me. Well, Tom Kearney. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't have got that BBL, mate. <laughs> <laughs> this is pure arse cheek. His arse is just too big. <laughs> like anywhere that ball was getting kicked it was hitting his ass. Yeah. <laughs> and it deflected beautifully off his ass. Yeah. Pass keeper. Pass keeper. What can you do? There was no movement in that ass either. <laughs> it's rock hard. Just bosh. Like Sean it hit, enjoyed watching just it. Just like a it hit too the much. post. How many times did you watch the replay? Once. Sus. Alright, no fault for the last goal here, but to not to much avail. Wobi basically deflected it as a lob over Jose Sar. Probably a little bit of luck, but it was in the 98th minute. This game was supposed to be over in the 97th. It is what it is. So Iwobi deflected it. It was booted at the goal. Iwobi, it's hit Iwobi's foot, dinked over Jose Sar. So, I mean, it's it's still a lob, but there's no way he's gone, oh, I'm going to dink this over because it's coming at like 60 miles per hour. That's, That's 100 it. kilometers per hour for you watching in Europe or America. If you America. were to blame Jose Sar, he would go up the list. I'm not blaming Jose Sar. I'm sad. What have you shot on this game to, Sean? Arse Brent. Arse Brent. So bringing us to Ars Brent. <laughs> uh, Arsenal take the lead, Sean. Who's it for for you? Rosalev. He scored last week. It's a fun name to say. It is. Rosalev. Like it. It's spelt completely differently. Though, I suppose Rose Lev. Yeah. Rose Lev. Mm -hmm. But Rosalev, cool guy. Cool guy. Yeah. Until Declan Rice, you know, tries to get ahead on a cross and he can't be asked to jump. Yeah, he knows Rice is wide open mm -hmm. in the box. And yet, to, his attempt to block the cross was to jump behind Declan Rice mm. after Rice had made contact with the ball. Rice got some air time on here. It, this genuinely looked like he was being controlled by a guy that was lagging with about 600 ping. <laughs> All right, well, I did tell Sean to go easy on Ramsdale, but it turns out this one's for me. This is yours. Ramsdale, what are you doing? I've done. He's, he's got caught out here. I mean, better keepers have been caught out as well. But on your first game back, this is a, this is a butt clencher. Yeah, this is uh, his last appearance for mm. Arsenal. No, no, because he had two world-class saves afterwards. It doesn't but matter. Brentford were bullying him at this point because they thought his head was gone. The head so was... Ivan Tony trying to score from 45 yards away and him making a genuine, necessary and quality save, I think, is probably going to be set out the next game. Yeah, no, he's not playing again this yeah, season. It's a shame. Because, like, Ray is bad at Sternler's line, mm. but he doesn't kick it into his own... Yeah. His own yeah, he doesn't yeah. kick into strikers. Yeah, he, he needed to play this one down the line, uh, down the touchline, but he, he didn't get it away early enough. A bit slow. He's probably just out of practice. I reckon Arteta plays him once more. He's going to be a lot more out of practice. However, do you know what else is unfair, Sean? What? Arsenal getting a last-minute winner because Brent would fall asleep at the back. Who's at fault for you? For me, Christophe Gere. Mm -hmm. Four weeks in a row now. Four in a row? He's on the longest streak. Wow. Currently active streak how many is he up to four four 
Yeah. So he's he's all his four. All oh in no, a no, row. no 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 no! Like his streak is. What's four his total? Weeks. Six, I think. Six total. Yeah. So he's climbing up. Yeah, yeah. He'll be in top fifteen soon. I think he's just on the like cusp of it, like equal with the fifteenth place. Oh, the cusp, you know. Cusp is four letter word. Could have gone with edge, but cusp. Nah, cusp is better right. than edge. And my word, what an attempt <laughs> no, no, the block list it was. We've seen another one of these, a thing where they sort of jump and go, huh, and well, they try and get out of it. I told Onana to leave the star jumps at home, yeah. and I'm going to tell Ajay to leave the cartwheels at home, because <laughs> his attempt to block this mm. looked like a salmon jumping out of water. He did. <laughs> he was so high in the air, yet nowhere near the ball. 100%. He just jumped upwards. Well, Havertz stopped. Ajay kept going because he was in front of Havertz, and then the, the cross found Havertz, and it was an easy tap in. Ajay did too much. He did far too much. And uh, Just... we've got a, we've got a name for a player that does too much here, Sean. And uh, we hope he's recovering well. But Lockyer, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know what he's doing. Someone... He's, you're still in the top 15, though, my man. <laughs> Someone get a camera on him. <laughs> <laughs> Played four games, conceded like 10 goals because of him. <laughs> the original hat trick maker. <laughs> he didn't get the first hat trick. Yeah, I know he didn't. Just trying to, I'm trying to give him something. He had the second hat trick. Second. <laughs> I know, all the, the I know all the niche stats yeah. from this list. Such a niche guy. I'm the only person to watch every What's He Doing video. Excellent. <laughs> all right, this brings us to Villa versus Tottenham. And not a game I saw coming going this way, Sean. Comedy. Comedy gold, this game. It's like Tottenham get spanked one year, then they start spanking the next. Villa would have gone into this thinking, oh, we're going to take this 3-0, 3-1. Maybe a tight game. But Ange, Posta, Coglu. <clears throat> Two goals in with 11 men on the pitch. McGinn, total shithousery, and then two more goals go in. Let's 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 get into these. So the first goal, Madison is basically it's basically a tap in from a beautiful cross. Like Sean, you love a decent cross. Yeah. Yeah. But Consa, you've got to hold your man better. You're the man in between Madison and that ball. He just sort of half asses. He knows that ball's coming in. There's no one to block the cross. The cutback's not happening. It's gonna whip. And Madison was getting bullied by the, the ground. They were getting bullied by the everyone in the audience. So the stadium were like, the 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 Madison's are uh, monetized. So simple as. And uh, Madison then did his dart celebration. Yep. Loved it. Loved to see it. But Conser, what are you doing? I reckon Madison scored 26 of those darts. <laughs> his technique was way off. He was he, way was he only threw two. He was thrown way too He hard. only threw two darts. Did it? Yeah. <laughs> what a knob it. I know. Now, Kulosevsky might be the most underrated player in the league. Why is that? Because he's the most underrated player in the league. What's that got to do with the second goal? He got the ball back. From? Tielemans. What's he doing? What's he done? Tielemans. My goal. It's your goal. I scored it. Me. <laughs> no. He just gets robbed by Kulosevsky. Mm -hmm. He's absolutely mugged 30 yards out from his own goal. And then Spurs do Spurs things. Two passes, goal. Two passes, goal. Brennan Johnson coming into his own now. Definitely fitting into that Tottenham shirt a little bit better. And somehow managing to wink at the camera. Yeah. The, the, the one looking at him. Yeah. That's like cool. as he's running past, he looks dead down the camera and winks. Oh, there you go. Dad would be proud. What a shit house. But yeah, Tielemans, you, uh, you can only score screamers, but you've got to sort out that first touch. Um, all the screamers in the world, but you can't give the ball to Tottenham. You I got mean, punished. You're getting robbed by Kulisevsky. That's, that's harsh. Okay. Now, as you can see here as well, Moreno and Zaniola, both in sync, do the, oh, damn it, where they throw their fists down, where they both get spun up. It's Kulisevsky again, nutmegs Moreno, and both of them, they just stand there and watch. So I can't give it to both of them, so I'm giving it to Moreno, because it's his position, and he's the one that gets nutmegged. So he's going up on the list, but he came on as a sub. So this is a bad day for him, because this sent, this sent Son... He got his uh, he got his Mother's Day goal. Oh, he's got a score. And he's got a score every game. I kind he's of not Ivan Tony. I kind of feel bad for Martinez this game. Why? Because except the last goal, the first three were just rifled at him. Mm -hmm. They were very as hard. hard like as they could kick mile the ball. An hour, yeah. <laughs> there was it. no aim in them. No. Nope. It was just it is on. Well, Madison's was a dink, but he was never getting it. It's two yards. Oh yeah, but I mean the, the, the first, other two were the rocket. The first ones like two of them are right next to him. Mm -hmm. And it's hard to say from that close. And the other two are just smash. All right, the final goal then, Sean. What's he doing? No money. No money. No money, big problems. <laughs> Cash. What are you doing? What are you done? Sure. For me, he just dropped way too back off Son. Yeah. And then just left Diego Carlos to mark everyone on his own. 
Because Cash is like just backing up from Son, which yeah. is already something I don't like about defenders. Yeah. And he's just backing up. Just commit to it. And then if he's past you, he's past you. Well, Timo was in a world of his own space. Yeah, because Carlos has and to the mark. the finish is in re- incredible. Carlos has to mark Werner, Kulisevsky, and the midfielder running in. Yeah. Which I, might have been Bentenko at the time. And then Cash is just by the goal line, mm-hmm. just chilling there. So yeah. the Polish Cafu looking more like the Polish right back from Aston Villa, mm. which is what he is. <laughs> there is no facade anymore. You are an average right back for an average football team. He's very average. Uh, but that did tie off a very dramatic game. And for Unai Emery, he's got his work cut out now to try and get that form back because he just seems to have dropped off since Christmas. The stats speak to them for themselves. No, they seem to lose massive one week and then just win six games in a row. Yeah, and then well, lose massive again. I hope they keep Tottenham out of the Champions League simply because. But at the same time, that's just petty. I'd rather they're all drawing so Chelsea could climb up and get into Europe. We can't win a game, mate. So it don't matter. Now, Brighton Forest, Sean. I don't need you for this one. Yeah, I'm not even here. Short and sweet is a lie. Brighton versus Forest game, only one goal. Just looked like a, a fight with a football the whole time, pretty much. I don't know why they had such beef. But, uh, Sean, did you have anything to say on this goal? Because it's it's an own goal. It's an own goal. Yeah. But whose own goal is it? I don't know, mate. Because I checked. Didn't watch. I checked the stats, yeah. And it says Oba Bandiele. Yeah, it's his own goal then. Headed it in. He didn't. Well, he did. He didn't. He did. He didn't. And you'll see it here. This was given to him, but I slowed it down. And I looked at it from all angles, and you're going to see him. Uh, it shouldn't have been given to him because it's actually come off of the keeper's gloves and bounced in. Okay, and after I slowed it down and had a look at Oma Bamdiele's head about 20 times, the ball does nick his the top of his head, but it's coming in straight and it hits the top of his head. It doesn't hit the side of his head, it hits the top, which is physically impossible to send the ball this way. No, but okay? it hit him and then went in. No, it hit him, it hit Sells's gloves, the side of his hand, because he's come out to punch it, it's hit the side of his hand and it's then gone in. Yeah, but it, this is actually Sell's own goal. And I'm amazed the Premier League haven't spotted no, it. No, it's not though. It is. If it doesn't hit Oma Bamdiele. It so didn't hit Oma Bamdiele. It hit him on top of the head. No, it, it, it went through his hair. Yeah, but it hits him. Like, no, That's it didn't contact. change the path of the ball. Well, If Oma Bamdiele wasn't there, it still would have gone in off of Sells' hand. Nah, he'd have caught it. it the own, the, an own goal is when it changes direction. An own yeah? goal is when it touches someone and goes in the Yeah, it, precisely. It didn't change direction. Well, it did. It went up. No, it didn't go up. It didn't go up. Sells was behind him. Oma Bamdiele just got well, close to it. The stats say Oma Bamdiele The stats goal. are wrong. And, and the they need us in the Premier are, League to correct these problems. If you score an own goal, you get the fall. He got, he got the blame and he shouldn't have. He's scored an own goal, mate. No, I'm sorry. We but you'll, you'll see it here yourself. Premier it's been shown League about stats. 200 times. You guys can see for yourself. It's clear as day. It's going to be played in ultra slow-mo. Matt, do your thing. It's still going to go down as Oma Bamdiele on the list. Mm. It's already done. Nothing you can do about it. Hmm. Run over West Ham Burnley. Sean. Oh, how I love a no fault goal. Don't we? <laughs> what two weeks in a row now? I've seen absolute shit house rockets. Yeah. Just from I mean Rashford. I understand. Hmm. I, I know he's got that in the locker. He's world class. David Fafana. Yeah, we need some, a recall. Some lone e from. We need total recall, Sean. From those blue bastards. <laughs> we need total recall. Dude just walloped it. Unbelievable! Just absolute screen. This hit the top bin so hard it would have ripped the bin off. And to be fair, I do dislike Edson Alvarez and Agued, mm-hmm. so I'd like to give it to either of them. You can't. But the strike itself, no one is at fault for. Mm-hmm. And ho! Oh, Even Ariola had no chance. Ariola only concedes screamers or or own goals. So Go two on, nil. Mate. Here we go. Konstantinos Mavropanos. What's he doing? What's he done? Love trying to get his name on this list. Who is he? Um, hey. What's his name? His name's Konstantinos Mavropanos, Seanus. With a rolled R. And uh, with a rolled R. Uh, one, easy on goal. Ariola can't adjust this fast. Good finish. No, great I mean, touch. Yeah. This is a striker's finish. But uh, he knows better not to do this. So, sausage. Well, this get is, on the list. This is why you don't play for Arsenal anymore, fella. Exactly. Get on the list. Your one, Sean. Potentially my favourite name in the whole league. Go for it. E Steve. E Steve. He's here. Or <laughs> Estevé. But what is this challenge? He's called E Steve. <laughs> it's his debut on the list. It is his debut on the and list. And it's the first I've heard the name E Steve. Yeah. And I'm very happy I found it. 
Pretty sure it's pronounced Esteve, but from now on, from 48 hours, E-Steve. He's E-Steve. He's E-Steve. And I'll be very <laughs> upset if anyone comes up to me and to ask me about E-Steve and they don't say E-Steve. <laughs> what is E-Steve doing? Hospital challenge. Come on. This, this challenge is one of them ones where it's like, okay, you didn't get the ball, at least get the man. Yeah. Because it's just a book in <laughs> and then Burnley might still go on to win the game. Yeah. But because you've missed both Paqueta somehow mm -hmm. and the ball, like... Surely, when you're playing against Paqueta, in your mind, everything's going, I'm just going to slide tackle him. Yeah. The ball is there, but it's not my concern. That's right. I just want to take out Paqueta, because hmm. he's a knobhead. But, you know, that's just my opinion. There you go. He's a if, if you bet on yellow cards, you are at fault. No, 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 no. No, <laughs> no if you miss. <laughs> Tony has no faults. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's Paqueta. <laughs> they both play bets. They, everyone plays bets. But E Steve, mate, welcome to the list. You What's are it? welcome. I'm going to give you every fault I possibly can. <laughs> I want to say your name. <laughs> e Steve. That's why it's called the Amin Hodds list. <laughs> no, his name's hard to say. Yeah, true. Not, as, not as hard as Konstantinos Mavropanos. Anel Amin Hodds list. That was done in 15 takes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bringing us to 2 2, and Burnley just sat on it. Burnley. They just sat on this. They couldn't keep this. In the bag. And sure not have deja vu. Why? Because Asignon is getting bullied in the corner again. <clears throat> he has support behind him in Vitinho, who is sort of just watching at, do I, do, don't he's I? He's a striker. I know. He doesn't really want to be, he's right wing, but never mind. He wants to play, but strong. he can't get in there and help. And Asignon just gets thrown everywhere. He's, he's got no presence, no strength. Strength minus one. Get in gym with you. Do leg press. Can't. Can't do nothing. They're wrapped in knees. Yeah, wrapped in knees. <laughs> and uh, Ings screams it. Like, it's a screamer as well. So it's great touch, turn, volley, bang. In the so. Premier League, you should not be able to get a shot through four different players and have it go in. Agreed. Best well, league in the world. Absolutely He not. didn't mean it. Not when Burnley are in the league. <laughs> he didn't mean to do it. <laughs> we need to get Sunderland out of whatever, out of the championship. Sunderland in the Premier League would be the shit house we need. Only Sunderland can get them out of the Premier League. Burnley, they haven't done it for 10 years. Burnley and Sheffield United are not the shit house teams we need. No. Norwich. Luton is though. Norwich, hello. <laughs> yeah. yeah, shit house. Sure they don't win any games. But I mean Leeds was fun when they had Bielsa and yeah, they just true. went we're going to go all out attack every game even though we've got no defenders. We like to see it. That brings us to City, Liverpool. This is like the main event of the weekend because it's the title challengers, the title clash. They pretty much wanted to decide who was going to win this Premier League year, pretty much, this whole season. Nah. So Pep versus Klopp for potentially the final time. And we actually want to know what uh, what you think on this, Matt, as well. So put your opinion somewhere here, pause it, do a little text, and uh, that would be quite fun. Just put the player's but, head uh, up. I want to see the player's head. <laughs> who do you blame head. for this goal, Matt? Because the first goal is mine. And no, it's not. It's mine. The first goal is Sean's. Sean? Gavin, you had Asignon. I had oh, E-Steve. Uh, I said it again. Ah. E-Steve, Asignon. Who is this for you then, Sean? Corner taken quickly. Yep. John Stones. That's not the line. That's not the... Uh, that's who scored. I know, but the <laughs> line should be corner taken quickly, Origi. Yeah. Because this is Liverpool's way of scoring goals. Hmm. This is the only way they could beat Barcelona, was to cheat and take a corner quickly. Yeah. Uh, it's against the rules, but no one reads the rules. Okay. We don't care about the rules. But this corner wasn't taken quickly. I know this one wasn't, but okay. Liverpool's one against Barcelona was. I yeah, see. Hold that, Matt. You just wanted to the rules, add Matt. that in. Yeah, you shouldn't. You don't deserve the Champions League. <laughs> anyway, did you win that one, or did you win the one after? Who knows? Um, yeah, Gomez. You're okay. gonna give this to Gomez. Goms, not Nunez. Go, Gomez. See, Matt, I've got this as Nunez. Yeah, it's not Nunez's fault though. He's a striker, not a defender. He's Jones's man. Jones. Yeah. Who's Jones? John Stones, but like combined. No. <laughs> Dr. Jones. He's Stones' his man. That song by Aqua. Nunez doesn't know how to defend. He's like Ollie Watkins. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't need to defend. He just gets shoved. McAllister gets shoved. And Gomez is watching it all happen. Mm -hmm. He's staring at De Bruyne. He is the front post man. So when... Liverpool have what it takes to keep the league? No. Neither do Arsenal. Neither does Matt. Man City <laughs> are inevitable. Fair enough. They inevitable. Are, they are Iron Thanos. Man. <laughs> you mean Thanos? No, Iron Man says it. <laughs> no, he says I am Iron Man. I am yeah. inevitable. Is Thanos? He says I am inevitable. I am Iron Man. You're an idiot. You are. You're I thinking of Endgame. I am inevitable. Thanos says I am inevitable. Clicks. Nothing happens. Then he says I am. Pause. Iron Man. Nah, Matt. Sean's a nerd. I would never forget something. <laughs> I am the most memorable human. 
Bringing us to the final goal of this, what's he doing? What's he doing? Huh? And it's an easy one. If you give the pen, you are at fault, despite the hospital pass from your left back. Edison, my guy. You know the rules. Almost, what are you doing? Almost a good challenge. No. He pulled his left leg out of this, but his right knee clapped into Darwin Nunez. If his patella is damaged from this, mm -hmm. this could be a real upset in Man City's season. Well, Ortega does well. Uh, Ortega gets into 17 out of the other Premier League teams. Yeah. Maybe not Liverpool, obviously, and probably not Arsenal. He gets into Arsenal. But every, no, he's he much better than no, Raya. No, he's not. He's not that kind of... I will fight He's you. not that kind of collar. I don't <laughs> want to fight you. <laughs> I would probably lose. <laughs> But there's a chance, you know, there's always a chance. But um, yeah, that's uh, the video. <laughs> Have fun. Yeah, Edison, can't foul like that. And at the same time, Constantinus Mavropanos, your name's fun to say. E Steve. Your name's also fun to say. If you like the E Steve, like the E Steve. <laughs> and if you like the video, like the video. Remember to subscribe, get your comments down there. That's it for this game week. We will see you on the next one. We've got a stream coming up. We will see the Blues against Newcastle, against the Magpies, and... Uh, it's the Carl Derby. It's the Carl Derby. I'm fighting it internally. All right. Peace. See you later, guys. <laughs>